What up? This is Rob the Straw Hat Ron, and we are back with some more Tomodachi game. Last episode, we did one and two. Somebody then stole some money and decided to uh, get his whole group, his or her whole group of friends into debt. So now they got to play this game with these weird mascots, trying to get themselves out of debt. And Yoroichi's trying to keep his friend group together, but at the same time, he's questioning because there's a traitor within the group, and they, he doesn't know who it is. We don't know who it is. It's pretty stressful. Shiba and uh, Tenji, I think his name was, Tenji Makoto. They was about to throw down. They was about to throw hands. And then um, the one girl, not Shiho, I forgot her name already. She just started screaming out of nowhere. Don't know what the hell her problem is. So I'm sure we're about to find out in these next two episodes that we're going to do. Also, they have, um, they're being watched by these two girls. I don't know if these girls are the heads of these games or if they're just there to observe. But why don't we get into it and find out? Without further ado, Tomodachi Game, episodes three and four. Oh, this man looks crazy. Junior high, Yutori Kokorogi used to sell herself to Yutori. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. She's a hooker? What? Oh, this is getting spicy. That's why she was screaming like that? Who did she tell that to? Wow. That's nuts. She was the only one that knew. You're a liar. It had to be you. No one else knows what I did. That's crazy, bro. She's in high school. High school, right? Not junior high. In middle school, she did that. Oh! Oh, they gotta go. To, they going to blows, bro. What the hell is your problem? Nah, you wanted to punch him last episode. Get into it. Don't let, he be, he been bitching you this whole show. It's okay. He's like, I don't know how to help this bitch. He holding his face. That hurt. Sorry to interrupt your little chat, but this round's results are in. Now that you've started playing properly, you're a bit more spread out. Here's where you all stand. Whoever reaches the end first will take on all of the debt that's been accumulated by everyone up to this point. That's crazy. needed the money do you understand <laughs> that's crazy what kind of show is this every day they find some new way to torment me but i didn't want to make things harder for my mom so i just put up with it and kept going to school eventually i figured out how i could make it stop all i had to do was give them some money whenever i gave them cash who had been so terrible to me would start to smile. After yeah. Then an opportunity came. Wow, I like her with the glasses. And she seems to have dyed her hair too. Then he asked me to cosplay. But I had always been interested in that anyway. Next thing I knew... He was asking to take photos of me in a costume he liked. Wow. But I mean, Come on, bro. What's wrong with getting your picture taken in a cosplay outfit, is there? Is that all y'all did? It wasn't just photos anymore. It nope. His... Come on now. Have I ever lied to you before? I guess not. See? So it's okay. Get your little grubby hands off her, man. Finding that story a bit hard to believe, young lady. Yeah. I took your... I promise I didn't do anything. I am a virgin. Please don't turn your back on me, Yuichi. She's pretty hung up on the virgin thing. Right. It's important to you or no? It comes from people seeing themselves as immaculate. The purer they feel, the more that they criticize their peers. Since they live their lives on the straight and narrow path, they're quick to condemn those who can't. Is it fun to be alive? It's important that we observe his response. That'll tell us whether he understands that he himself is not entirely pure. How do they know so much about their lives? I promise that I won't leave you. Thank you, Yuichi. What's up with these water drops? 
And this is why. Oh shit. Okay. What just what? But maybe now when I say I'll never abandon you, you'll take me seriously. Did he tell her a secret or did he like lean in for a kiss? Nevertheless, we've just learned something crucial. He was kind to Yutori Kokorogi without a moment of reproach. There must be something terribly dark in his past. Yeah, my man is dark. He got some sinister stuff with him. And, um, I think that it would be better if I kept my distance from her for now. Why are you mad at me? Maybe you're telling the truth. And I really hope you are. But I can't trust you. Don't get upset. It won't help. But we're supposed to be friends. Well, somebody said something. What happened to you three when she was in middle school? I knew bits and pieces anyway. Maybe it was Yoruichi. Long after high school started, I saw some guys from another school surrounding her. She kicked their ass. One of them said, Why would you bother sticking up for that whore? Trust me, I know she's the type who'll do anything to get your money at her. It didn't feel right to pry any further. I just promised I wouldn't tell. When it comes to you know a lot, Chiho. You and I have been close for so long, I know you better than anyone else. Yeah. And he's the odd man out. Sheba. Someone who's doing their best to sabotage the friendships that hold the group together. Destroying their bonds may have been the primary goal from the start. If that's what's going on, then I think Sheba is the most suspicious. Look at him pouting in the corner by himself. No, nah, it's not him. Do after him, Tinji's probably the sketchiest. <gasps> right, she ho She knew about everything. You thought he dates, and of course her history with Tinji and her feelings for Yuichi. Right. I think it's Yoruichi though. Then again, after what we saw in the first game, we can't rule out Yuichi Katagiri yet either. Right. Kramba. Kramba. The fuck? Kramba. He's saying crumble. So it's a dude. It's obviously a dude. Hey, just to make sure, everyone turned in their money for the class trip, didn't they? But he's been working his butt off lately, so he's kind of passed out on his desk at the moment. This way I won't wake him up. Whatever. Just don't make it obvious. Oh, that really hurts. Is she drawing comics? I've been drawing manga recently. Alright, so we saw... Yoichi sleep. We saw Shiba in the classroom studying. The only person we haven't seen is Tenji. Mikasa! Freaking bitch. Yeah, it's Mikasa. Bitch ass Mikasa. I was constantly watching. I told you you can't trust a man with glasses. Hey, is that a cut? If you take too long to treat it, you might get a scar. Take those off so I can see it. You should go get it looked at. What's the significance of this cut? Nobody's gonna notice it. Yeah, maybe. When did he have this cut? He hasn't had he didn't have this cut in the last episodes. How will you react to that, my sweet Shiho? What will you say? I bet you'll be this dude is tapped. around then, won't you? The mere thought of it is so exhilarating. <laughs> what a douche. All right, let's get into the fourth episode. Tomodachi game. Let's get it. Calm down. Please. This bitch ass Tenshi. <laughs> Those faces, bro. All for the sake of isolating Shiho and destroying her precious friend. Bro, what the hell? This dude is a degenerate. There's still the possibility Kokorogi wrote that note about herself. She what? No way. Listen, I'm just saying it's worth considering. I don't want to believe <laughs> I'm just saying. It makes you feel bad for Yuichi. Think about it. He's a genuinely good guy. That's what you think. Yeah, I suppose that's possible. Don't fall for this shit. You know that he likes you. 
Well, no, that's not true. We don't know if he likes her. You're a monster, Yamichi. Not only are you torturing my darling Shiho, but you're bringing up this vicious side of me. Yo, you keep playing with people. She gonna come back to bite you in the ass. Let's see. What should I write this time? Perhaps I ought to come up with something that'll fan the flames of Shiho's anger. Perhaps you shouldn't not. You shouldn't do shit. Yo, Tenji gotta go, bruh. Oh, right. My three minutes aren't up yet. All right. What was that about? Huh? Oh, shit. Did he just slap Seiko in the face? <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. They setting him up, bruh. They setting him up. Wow. She really got the red cheeks. Wow. <laughs> this is just too perfect. Really? You still stuck on that? <laughs> you still on that? I was in a bad situation and ended up with a scar on my face that I wanted to cover. That's what happened? Man, go sit down. Just know, if you don't stop coming after me like this, then I'm not going to trust you anymore either. Somebody said get her, LMAO. From now on, I want nothing to do with either one. I know I'm not as good as Yuichi, but I'll do whatever it takes to help you out. Stop putting yourself down. <laughs> this dude is so cringe. Not long ago, Shiho was head over heels for Yuichi. And now she and Tenji are getting kind of clumsy. Women are logical beings. <laughs> That's the funniest shit I heard. But I had a bit of trouble and skipped most of the year. So I ended up dropping out. A bit of trouble? What the hell were you doing? I didn't mean to keep it a secret. I just couldn't bring it up. It's cool. That's nothing to be. I hate this dude, bro. No, please believe me. I didn't write that. I promise. Right. Sorry. I just had a moment of uncertainty. That's all. I told you I would always take your word, so that's what I'll do. I hate this dude, bro. You can still depend on me to never betray you, but them. This is so like. I know he thinks he's playing like 4D chess, but it doesn't come off that way to me. Like, obviously, we see into his mind, so it's, like, even if we didn't, weren't getting his, his thoughts, it just seems too, like, perfect. And here is where he got what you deserve. <laughs> Who is watching this shit? Special chance. Nominate one member of the group. So I'd make my decision carefully if I were you. <laughs> Investigate it. If she picks me, it might come out that I stole the two million yen. Oh, he did steal it. Everything I planned will fall apart. Well, Shiho, who here would you like to expose? You ready to? That's right. I don't know why I forgot that he he was the one that stole the money. I'm dumb. It's been a, a couple days since I watched the uh, third episode. All right, then Tenji. <laughs> I know what you need to do. Pick me. Shiho. Oh my God! You dumb, stupid bitch. <laughs> something under your hat like i keep telling you i've got nothing oh dear look what we found oh shit they got his whole life up there what the hell not only did he abuse and sexually harass his secretary he takes bribes oh, from shit. and criminal groups the chibe said is a total scumbag i didn't know they'd come at his family but those are things right what is it gonna do what's that gotta do with him if you felt that safe then i would guess that you have done something wrong and your father covered it up. Nobody's noticing he keeps singling this dude out. He's trying his hardest to work you over. That isn't true, is it? Somebody needs to knock this dude's hair straight. Because his hair is getting on my nerves. No, don't go! <laughs> this man's the odd man out with no girl on his arm. Cold-blooded. Damn. <laughs> this one's about Chibe. It says he's killed a person. What? What's that That's kind of No. Oh shit. I just left the card blank this time around. I thought about writing 
something to destroy Shibe for good. So I decided it's to Yoichi. Yoichi wrote it. Killed someone before. Did Yoichi fool us all? Again? Are you being I knew Yoichi had something up his sleeve, bro. Based on what we've observed so far, he was probably setting something up all along. I'm sure you remember. Right. That is, of course, unless you're some kind of gullible simpleton. Why she keep coming at her like that? <laughs> no! Don't end right there! I want more! So this this is getting good. So I've I've forgotten that um Tenji it was it was uh revealed the last episode that Tenji was the one that stole the money. It's been a couple days since I watched that episode between uh, this recording and the last one, even though they're together. Yeah, he's got to go, bro. Tenji's got, they got to get him out of here. I wonder how long it's going to take for that to happen. For him to be uh, exposed because he's a little bit too confident in his abilities. I'm feeling bad for Shibe, man. He ain't deserve all this. But it, it does make me wonder what Yoichi has planned for him to write that about Shibe that he killed somebody. Is it even true? I don't know. I guess we're going to have to find out next episode. Ain't it crazy how one bad friend can poison the whole group? That's nuts. But what's going on with Yoichi though? This man is dark. There's something about him, bro, that they don't know. They don't know that they, they messing with a devil right now. Anyway, that's all I got. If you like this reaction, hit that like button down below. Hit the subscribe button down below and drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Till next time, Ronan signing out. Peace.